Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today is an exciting day. I'm in the middle of redoing, refreshing, and recreating my four car garage. But today, we're gonna assemble some cabinets. So let's jump right into it. So guys, the reason I chose these cabinets is because there's not many videos out there on YouTube about these cabinets. I want to test them out for you to see if I can recommend them. If you're looking to purchase the Ultimate Garage cabinets, be sure to check out the links down below where you can get the best deal possible on these cabinets. Also, by clicking those links, you help support the channel, so thank you. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. Right behind me is about a 30-foot section of my garage where I am installing some new garage cabinets. And today, I'm going to show you what all is involved in assembling the two-door medium box. Before we get into the unboxing, I just want to let you know that I am doing a massive tool giveaway this year. So make sure you check out the link down below for your chance to win some tools. So let's get unboxing. Two door medium base box, and I'm gonna open the box, show you how it's packed, and lay it all out here. So this is how it is packed, all nice and secure in there to prevent any damage. So let's lay out all the parts so we can see what we're working with. All right, here's what's included in the box. Everything is nicely labeled. We have the legs, the brackets, the handles, and all the hardware. Right now we're going to, this is what I like to do, install all the cams and the dowels in all of the holes that are necessary. That way when we get assembling, it's all ready to go. So here's a little pro tip. All of these are installed. If you want to use a power drill, make sure you set the drill on a low torque. Another thing you want to do is you want to back out all of these cams just a little bit. This will make your installation a lot easier. Keep in mind, these lines need to be pointing to the exit hole here. So just go around, take some time backing these out. You'll thank me later. All right, now that we started assembly, you want to install both D and E. Keep in mind, D will be the top, and both, and all these cams will be pointing towards the wall. And then this cut part will be showing into the cabinet. This is how you hang the cabinet. Now when you put down these pieces onto uh, to these pins here, you're going to want to wiggle it until it goes flush down. And if you're having a hard time, sometimes you need to rotate, rotate these cams a little. Anyways, they are both flush. Now you want to put some pressure down on the top while you tighten those up. Now that both the sides are on, you're going to want to put the top on. Now the top is A. How do you know this is the top? Again, it's because this goes towards the top because this is how you hang the cabinet. But also keep in mind, on A and B, you need to install these little wooden dowels. And then on A, you'll see these two little holes. These need to go to the front of the cabinet. This is how your doors lock. And on B, this hole needs to go to the back of the cabinet. So let's get those on. Now guys, at this point, the cabinet structure is done. You would be putting on the feet right now. They just screw into the bottom. But since I'm not using the feet here, I am actually going to just rest it right there, build my last drawer cabinet, and then start mounting everything to the wall. So I'll check back in with you when I'm mounting it to the wall. So right here is part letter F. You can see I have them all laid out. Obviously, I have uh, them all for those as well. These big shelves do not come with them. You got to order them separately. Anyways, so how these work is you want to find a stud on the wall, put your leg screw through into a stud. Uh, they do include little screws. Let me just show you. I prefer to use legs. So that's the screw they include. And then some uh, wall anchors and then a sleeve to go through the bracket, but I'm gonna use my lag screws. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this one, show you guys how I do it. Uh, what you first need is obviously a stud finder. I highly recommend this stud finder. I'll leave it in the link down below. So you can see there's two studs on this cabinet, and then I use a laser level. Let me turn that on. So the laser is projected on the wall there. Now, if you run your, I've already done this, but you can see I can move my laser a little bit left 
and then it's going to be right in the middle of where the stud is so let's do that so there we go it is right in the middle so now you go down below and that's where the stud will be so i'm going to set you down and i'm going to put in this bracket So that one obviously hit the stud perfectly as planned. Now, let's straighten this up to where we want it and mark out this stud. All right, guys, as you can see, there is the mount there. All of these are done. Now, I'm gonna show you another thing the manufacturer recommends if you're looking for more stability, but, I had to do this because there was only one stud. So if you look on that one, that one, and that one, there is no mount. But what I did do is I put a lag through the top and the middle. Manufacturer recommends if you want more stability from those, you put another one in part D, which is the back. So what I decided to do is find studs for those three uh, two studs for those three and then I could only find one stud for those three All right, so here are the hinges pretty simple. You just place them right there Let's get these all in place and then we use the supplied screws to screw those in They rest, rest nicely in these holes and Then we have our locking door mechanism this piece gets screwed on right here and This piece gets screwed on right up here where the two holes are all right, the hardware is all mounted, the door lock mechanism, as well as this mount. Now, before we get the doors installed, we want to install this backing. It's gonna clean up the look of this cabinet. Look at that. And you use your included four black screws. Then we'll place this little baby in to cover that hole since we're not doing anything with wiring. And then we'll get installing on the doors. And there you have it, your two soft closed doors are done. Now, you may or may not need to adjust the hinges. These ones look pretty even and good. But what we have to do now is remove the protective film and then we can install the door handles and from there, we can put our shelf. Well guys, I installed all the handles and the cabinets are done. What do you think? To me, they look amazing. If you found those videos helpful and you would like to purchase the cabinets, there is a link down below that helps support the channel every time you purchase from there. If you have any questions about these cabinets, feel free to ask me. I buy these cabinets to try them out to give you guys first-hand experience. If you are looking for different cabinets, be sure you check out all my previous videos as well because I've reviewed a bunch of them. But guys, I am giving away a whole bunch of tools this year, so make sure you check out the link down below that will tell you how to enter to win. But until next time, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you then.